name is Anderson Lopez. I'm considered a ballroom queen. I incorporate voguing into my numbers. I walk balls. Oh, voguing is so much. It's posing, it's telling a story, it's showing who you are, what you are, and where you came from. You basically just go out and serve your fantasy, and it can look like whatever you want it to. I was 19 years old when I attended my first drag show and I just remembered being in awe of the girls that were performing. They had that confidence and they knew who they were. And I remember watching and thinking, I could do this, this is in me. And so the next week I went to that same show and they let me do an open set and I had an incredible experience. The ballroom scene has always been something I've been very interested in. And so as I started to do drag more, I started to incorporate voguing more into my numbers. A huge part of the ballroom scene is these people coming together that come from nothing to showcase themselves in this light where they can be elevated and be seen in a community that accepts them because the world doesn't. They pick up scraps and cut up clothes and make their own outfits and show them off at the balls. and. A big part of my drag is making my own outfits and I definitely find myself like on Vogue runway or looking through magazines and recreating looks that I can't afford and just making them myself. Um, I'm a big fan of the mod era, Lady Miss Care, Delight. It's like definitely my number one inspiration. So I love um, like color block moments like this. I did this one look made by Brooklyn designer Jimmo Marino and he uh, made me this hat that goes along with this cape. I actually wore this to the first ball I ever walked. My creative process is honestly kind of messy. I basically just think of a silhouette because I'm all about a silhouette. And I choose the fabric. I don't necessarily always sketch things out. I kind of just like cut out patterns and shape them to my body and I'll add trimming or stones and whatever looks pretty and whatever catches the light. I ride my bike everywhere. Literally, I will go to the gig in full drag on my bike. My inches are just blowing. Feel free. Literally, everybody is looking at me, but it's fine. I definitely was not always as confident. I think my confidence started to grow when I started to play around with my queerness and my queer gender expression. I remember I had a friend tell me, if you don't leave the house and feel like a fool, then you're doing it wrong. And so every time I would leave the house, my hoops would be a little bit bigger, my heels would be a little bit higher, my crop top would be, you know, a little bit shorter, depending on the day or the weather, and uh, people would look at me and I would get so insecure, but I would remember that I'm living in my life and that's the thing, is it's my life and not theirs. So I have no desire or need to worry about what they're doing because I'm here looking like a fucking bad bitch and they're gonna remember me and I'm not gonna remember them. Yes. <laughs> First person to accept who I was was definitely my mom. She definitely knew I was queer before I did. I believe I have the best mom in the world. She is my number one supporter. When it comes to performances, I think I just want everybody to forget about everything around them and just like check out for a second in a healthy way and just like have fun. And that's why I always, um, I always go so hard in my performances because you never know what people are going through. And like, I know when I'm sad, I want to see a drag show. I want to see some man in a dress do a 360 split because why would you not live? I try to be as visible as possible on a day to day, whether I'm in drag or out of drag. It was really, really important for me to see when I was growing up, queer people that looked just like me on the subway or people on runways, they were holding space for me and I wanna be able to do that for the people that come after me. When I'm on a stage, I have no idea what's going 
on in my head. I, I kind of just serve it as much as I can and not worry about anything else that's going on around me. And I just feel the music. I listen to the beats. I don't listen to my thoughts. I listen to my body. I listen to my movements. And I try to sync it in with what I'm dancing to. What I do, you're not going to see anybody else do because it's my story, it's my performance, it's the way I'm expressing myself. <laughs> 